MIT is delighted to be here today because it's all part of being part of the Big Bang Festival. And today we've got the uh, Faraday Engineering Challenge Final. But the IET is also here because it's got a, a stand that's promoting all our educational materials to the teachers. And it really shows the IET's commitment to education, being here, being part of it, and just being part of the Big Bang Festival. The teams arrived yesterday and they're here today because they were the top three teams from 30 regional events. And those 30 regional events embraced over 180 schools from completely around the UK. It's going to be very exciting because oh, it's a big challenge again. We've been chosen for this, so obviously I really wanted to do this and I'm really enjoying it, so it means a lot. A bit nervous. Because uh, you're not sure if you're going to win or going to lose. It's great fun every time we sort of do this sort of work. I like doing group work and like designing things. The final is about designing and manufacturing a table tennis server. So they need to know that at a certain angle, with a certain force, that ball will hit the same spot consistently four times. You have to think of the ideas, use your materials, and then when it comes to actually testing and adapting your ideas, you actually think more about what you're doing and then you add it all up and it makes your final product. Part of the Faraday Challenges is actually doing hands-on stuff. It's not just wandering around static exhibitions. So the students are really going to benefit by actually using their brains, using the maths, using the science and pulling it all together and making something that's real and engineering. And this is what the IET is about. It's about inspiring youngsters into becoming engineers. We're taking it all taking in turns and like swapping around and giving each other ideas and help. Once the piston is pulled back, elastic potential energy is stored. Then when it is released, it transforms into kinetic energy. It's quite a bit different because it's got two ping pong balls and a lot more colour. Each team, once they've done their presentation, will go on to do their final competition testing. So we move over to the table tennis table and we score. Four balls, two targets, and that's the score they get. It has to work, it has to be fit for purpose, and that's what engineering is all about. And once they've done that, we add up all the scores from the presentation and the scoring, and then we've got the award ceremony. But who is our all important winner? Well, it is the Lindsay Academy of Glasgow. Science, maths and design and technology are often taught in schools separately. How much more wonderful it is when it comes to life in a situation like that, when they're taught together in a parallel way, as it should be. The IT is delighted to be part of this bigger commitment into exciting people into engineering and technology. I, it hasn't sunk in yet. I just can't believe we won. Yeah. I'm completely flabbergasted. <laughs> <in there. laughs> I didn't anticipate we'd win at all. It's, it's been great to actually get here and we kept thinking that even if we don't win, it's been a great experience and to come first in Scotland has been a great opportunity. But to win overall has just been amazing. We won!